what's up guys welcome back to another video and today we're going to talk about how to overclock your lcd steam deck on windows to do this you're going to need a couple things you're going to need your steam deck today we are rocking our lcd steam deck with our mark 9 backplate you will need to have windows running so if you need to swap your ssd do it now or you can actually rock it on a USB-C. Luckily, we have the Mark 9 backplate, which you can get at DIYpoppy.net, STL file, and or actual printed backplate, where it's easily able to swap out those SSDs. You're going to need a dongle with PD in, USB, at least one gigabyte, and for quality of life, mouse and keyboard. Before we get into the tutorial video, big shout out to Bald Sea Lion Productions, because he is the guy that taught me how to do this, and we are poaching his links <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and have all the links below including his original video the update bios in windows on the steam deck good video you should definitely check it out and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe so we're gonna have the bios flasher tool link i'm gonna click that it's gonna download automatically i'll have this in link below and we're gonna need the bios repo so this is bald sea lions repo page for all of his bioses he has 110 113 115 116 118 we need 113 i'm gonna go ahead and download that one more big shout out before we get into the second thing we need to do a uh, big shout out to cryobyte 33 he has the overclocking undervolting video which uh you should watch before you overclock or undervolt your steam deck after you doing um the bio swap back to 113 um, but the main important thing on this video is what we need is the link to the UMAF. So I'll have this also linked to his video and this linked in the description below. But you're going to hit this smokeless UMAF link. And the one you're going to be aiming for is the UMAF beta zip. Click that. And then over to the right hand side, you're going to hit download. Beautiful. All right. So that's all we need. So big shout out to those guys. All those links are going to be in the description below. All right, so we have our USB plugged in, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit a right click, and even though it's empty, let's just go ahead for good measure, hit a format. We're going to keep it at FAT32 and do a quick format, hit start. All right, that's all done. We're back in the downloads folder, we're going to right click the UMAF folder. We're going to extract all here, so go ahead and hit extract. Beautiful. We're going to highlight all of this with shift left click. And then we're going to drag all of this to our USB, which is USB 2 here. Beautiful. Click on USB 2. Boom. Everything is in there. Okay. Second, I'm going to go back to downloads. We're going to just clean this up. We're just going to hit the delete. Hit the delete here. Now we only have our BioSplash tool and the 113. All right. We're going to extract this one just like we did with the UMAF. So extract all here extract beautiful close that and what i want to do is delete this zip file so i do not get confused next thing we're going to do we're just going to go ahead and drag the 113 into the biosplash tool but then we're going to click into the biosplash tool and then drag the 113 again into the biosplash tool you could just copy and paste it but this way um you know illustrates it more that we need to put the file in the file so it's right here right uh third one from the top and that's basically it okay so when before we move into this next step make sure your steam deck is plugged into power because if it turns off during this you will brick your bio so we're going to double click the h2 o f f w dot e x e we're going to click yes this window is going to pop up and this pop-up window will pop up. Real quick, you'll notice that my current version is 113 and the new version is 113. I already have the 113 BIOS on this one, so we're just reflashing it with the same BIOS. But yours should say like the 119, 118, and then flashing the 113 depend depending on which BIOS you have. And also, you'll also see that the load file was successful. That means that we loaded the 113 onto the the bio swapper so over here you'll see all this warning all you got to do is click ok and that is about it now it's erasing and writing this will happen pretty dang quick and then your system will reboot this may take a couple of minutes for you all 
All right, there we go. We got the Steam logo again, then we'll see a progress bar. And that should be it for the most part. And here we go. We're booting back into Windows. Beautiful. All right, so now we already have our USB plugged in. We're just going to power down the system. I'm going to shut it down. Then we're going to do the reboot, which is uh, into the BIOS, which is power down, or is that power up? Power up, and hold that down, press the power button. Hear that noise, the chime, and then it should boot into the BIOS menu. Remember, our UMF USB is already plugged in. Now we just got to go to Boot Manager. And we should see the, there you go, the USB right there, USB 2, right here. Click it, it's gonna run a script. Bada bing, bada boom, I know it's sideways, and boom. We have the smokeless on here now, and click device manager, and boom, you can see the AMD CBS, and then you can go into CMU, common options, and then we can increase our TDP here and remember this is not a tutorial to how to overclock I'm just showing you how to be able to overclock uh, so watch cryobytes video for that and then right here the PPT control manual and I'm adjusting it all to 22,000 I know my steam deck can handle that because we have the mark 9 backplate with that external fan Hit escape, then I'm gonna go to CMU debug options. And remember, this is not a tutorial. I'm just showing you that you can do it again. And I'm gonna go right here. CC, IFK, OMAX override control. We're gonna go to manual. This overrides our CPU. I'm gonna go to 3800 or 3.8 gigahertz. And then right below here, uh, GFXC, we're gonna go hit manual again. And this is for the GPU and 2200 is what I do and escape, 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 Y, escape, reset, boom, your Steam Deck is overclocked and that's all it takes. Real simple guys. So big shout out to Sea Lion and Cryobyte for their tutorials because without them this video wouldn't be possible. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. But other than that, guys, this is Nas, a.k.a. DIY Poppy. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next video.